What's up, ninjas? It's Coach Brandon here. Welcome back to Skyhook Ninja Fitness Homeschool. Today, we're going to be talking about all the skills you need to know to earn your parkour tape on your yellow belts. So, let's get right into it with the skills that I just demonstrated your parkour role. Not only do we need to know this forwards, but backwards as well. Refresh you on the forwards roll. Start in a squat. Bring that triangle across your body to a foot. Then we're gonna push with our feet, go across that arm in front of our body, and over our shoulder for that parkour roll. Once again, triangle across the body, push with the feet, parkour roll. Now, how do we do that backwards? Well, we can start by laying down on our back and practicing reaching our feet over, touching the ground. your start. And then as you get more comfortable with that, you're going to kick harder. Put both feet on the ground. Notice that my arm is right here to protect my head. My hand is reaching over in preparation. And then as we kick harder, whoosh, we push off the ground with our hands. And if we were to do that the opposite direction, Look like that. So, parkour roll forwards, parkour roll backwards. Just like that ninjas. And now we're gonna talk about some strides, but I'm gonna need a little bit more equipment. Awesome. Now that we've got our beams, let's talk about the stride. So, this is a precise running motion. It's not just stepping forward. In fact, this could push you backwards off the obstacle. We're jumping up and coming down, just like our precision jumps, but with one leg. And then making sure our other leg is swinging through to the next obstacle. You need to be able to do at least four strides in a row, each three feet apart, making sure we precision on that last one. Now that's it for strides. Now we need to move on to the Kong Up. Let's get some different equipment in here. Fantastic. Now we have a couple of obstacles to practice this Kong Up on. We have a soft obstacle to start with, and then a hard obstacle that we can improve our mental capacity with. You can find something like this, maybe your bed at home, or a solid obstacle, maybe a low wall outside. So for this move, we're going to put our hands on the obstacle a little bit into, not right on the edge, but reaching a little bit into that ball and jumping our legs on top, close and in between our arms. We do not want to do a frog hop where our feet hop outside our hands. This is not how Kong up is done. And as you feel more comfortable, we can start to move to more solid options. Hands not directly on the edge, reaching a little into the obstacle, jumping those feet on top. It also helps to have some flexibility, being able to reach your feet up to about the same height as your hands, because then you have a lot more room to pick your feet up and put them in between. Now we're gonna move on from Kong vaults into crane steps. I'm gonna need something a little bigger than this. Awesome, now we have this bigger obstacle to jump on. The crane step is a useful technique if you're not sure if you can box jump both feet on top of an obstacle. Especially if you're trying to jump on something a little harder that has a flat surface on the front of it. It's a great technique to use to train your body to jump up high. So, we're going to do a big jump, bending our knees, swinging our arms up into the air. One foot is going to land on top of the obstacle. The other foot is going to land on the front of the obstacle to help balance us and stop us moving forward. Jump up, one foot on top, one foot on the front. Once again, one foot on top, one foot on the front. Notice that I practiced both sides there. You guys should always practice both sides. Now, the last thing we're going to need to see you do as a yellow belt parkour ninjas, is wall run to an appropriate height wall. So we're gonna have to take a little journey 
to a wall that we can climb. All right, ninjas, now that we're here over by the parkour walls, we can talk about your last two requirements. And they kind of go together, they mesh together very well. It's the cat hang and the wall run to hang on appropriate height wall. We've learned the wall run as a white belt ninja. Now we're actually going to have to grab the top of an obstacle. Let's talk about that first. We're gonna put our hands over the edge and not just your fingertips, but your whole hand grabbing that wall. And then you want your feet up high and line with your belly. You don't want them low on the wall. You want to get them up high. Hang onto the walls. Flex those shoulders a little bit too. Make sure your shoulders aren't down by your ears, but shoulders pulled down away from your ears and keeping those feet up high. If your feet start to slip, pick them up one at a time and push them back into the wall. Now that we know how to cat hang, let's talk about using that cat hang and applying it to the wall run and of appropriate height wall. Now what does that mean? It means a wall that's higher than yourself or that you can reach. For example, this six foot high wall is way too short for it to be an appropriate height wall for me, Coach Brain. I need something that's taller than myself, taller than I can reach. Something like that slot up there would be a very good height for me to attempt for my yellow belt parkour requirements. Running in and pushing into the wall about our old leg length up and low leg length away. And especially if we're trying to go to height, swing those arms up into the air, both, so you can grab both hands to where you intend to reach. Just like that, ninjas, that's your appropriate height wall grab. And make sure when we jump down off this wall, we land safely as well. With that full squat absorbing our landing. Now that's all for our yellow belt parkour tape requirements. If you guys have any questions about any of the curriculum that you saw in this video, please ask us down in the comments section below. In the meantime, I've been Coach Brandon, and this is our positivity circle for Skyhook Ninja Fitness. Tell me, what is your goal for the highest wall that you want to climb. It can be within the next three months, within the next six months, within the next year. But I want to hear what big goals in parkour do you have? Hands in the middle, ninjas. Skyhook ninjas on three. One, two, three. Skyhook ninjas!